Arthrex lumbar unilateral laminotomy is an ultra-minimally invasive surgical approach for decompressions in patients who have been diagnosed with stenosis of the spinal canal or the spinal nerves. In this procedure, the endoscope is used to assist in the approach for access and visualization. Place the patient in the prone position and use a C-arm to verify the correct level being treated using both AP and lateral images based on the preoperative MRI. Start the procedure by finding the entry point by using an elevator and a pen. First, mark a horizontal line from the ipsilateral pedicle to the contralateral foramen. Next, mark the facet line. Using an elevator and AP fluoroscopy, find the vertical line through the ipsilateral facet. Mark the entry point where the horizontal and vertical lines intersect. Insert a spinal needle and locate the docking point of your endoscope cannula at the spinal laminar junction on the ipsilateral side. Remove the stylet and thread a guide wire through the spinal needle's cannula. Then remove the cannula. Insert a switching stick over the guide wire. Palpate the spinal laminar junction with the tip of the switching stick and use fluoroscopy to confirm the correct position of your cannula. Insert the cannula over the switching stick and then remove the switching stick. Insert the endoscope into the cannula. The surgeon may choose to connect the cannula holder to aid in maintaining the trajectory. Connect the holder to the cannula prior to the switching stick being removed. A depth stop may be attached to the endoscope to maintain the depth within the cannula. Arthrix offers a unique wishbone handle design that allows for improved ergonomics and mobility for the instrument by the surgeon. Once the endoscope is inserted, use grasping instruments and the electrosurgery probe through the endoscope's working channel to remove excess tissue and coagulate blood vessels. Expose the base of the spinous process, the contralateral laminae, both caudally and cranially, and the ligamentum flavum. Insert a burr through the working channel of the endoscope. Use the burr to undercut the caudal edge of the upper lamina on the contralateral side creating space for the ligamentum flavum. Remove bone tissue with the burr until both the superficial and deep layers of the ligamentum flavum are exposed. Use a forceps to reach the deep layers of the ligamentum flavum. Then use an elevator to split the ligamentum flavum in a craniocaudal direction to access the epidural space. Remove the ligamentum flavum using forceps and kerosin rongeurs. After removing the epidural fat, Advance the cannula towards the contralateral recess. Once the contralateral recess is visualized, advance and rotate the cannula to retract and protect the traversing nerve root and the dura. Display the superior and inferior articular process of the facet joint. Next, use a burr, kerosin rongeurs, and grasping forceps to remove the compressing tissue. Identify the exiting nerve root by following the medial border of the dura until you reach the nerve root's axilla. Remove excess fat tissue with the electrosurgery probe and forceps, then display and assess the nerve root. Use the electrosurgery probe or a ball tip probe along with direct visualization to ensure the effective decompression of the contralateral foramen. Once complete, slowly remove the scope and cannula.